and welcome back to my channel as you can tell from the name of the channel my name is Mod Chifamba and I'm here with another video I am thankful for you if you are a returning viewer and you're not yet subscribed please do subscribe if you're a new viewer please do subscribe it helps me with the algorithm and help me on this journey of growing we're on the road to 3k subscribers and I hope by the time this video is I'll be around 50k 50 subscribers to go or something like that so I love that for me so in today's video I just want to talk about something so in the past three in the past in the past five months I've answered to four job titles. I've been an audit senior. I became a technical manager. I became a finance director. And then I became a consultant. <laughs> so it's just been a roller coaster of a couple of months. And um, I've been changing jobs a lot. Um, part of it was due to uh, my own doing some of it wasn't really my own doing but just about time and i don't really regret although i would go back to any of my jobs i don't really regret leaving um but i thought having left all these jobs honey i am an expert in leaving places so i just wanted to talk about changing jobs Now, you also don't want to have a CV that shows you moving around. Um, there's an idiom that says um, a rolling stone gathers no moss. And you don't want to also come across as somebody who moves around jobs a lot. But what I'm just saying is one day, maybe today, maybe next year, maybe the other year, you will need to leave a job unless your name is on the company name. But even partners leave. So... One day you're going to need to change your job and this video is just to talk about what to do or when to know, <coughs> when to leave or just how do you go about the process of leaving, an old, um, leaving your old job. So the first thing that I would say is please be proactive about your own growth, about your own career journey. So you see that uh, there are people who are always, always on the lookout for opportunities to go to the next job or to the next level and sometimes the only way you can move a level up is through changing your firm according to like sometimes there's so many different reasons why your firm or your company cannot promote you to a certain position and sometimes the only way to move up is through leaving your current job and sometimes you leave because you don't agree with things that are happening in that job sometimes you leave because of so many other reasons but what i am just saying is you need to keep your head in the game always be proactive and always be looking for opportunities and sometimes new places do you good you get to see the world differently you get to get another perspective you get to see the world in a different way now let's say you have an offer to change your job um how do you go about it so the first thing is i would say ask for a job description from your new employer this is very important and now going forward i would never take a job where i don't have the job description because you don't know what are the performance expectations for you and you don't know how do you kill that job how do you what do you have to do for the company and for you to say, I've done this job very well? So ask for a job description. Make this important in your interview, in your offer or whatever. Ask for a job description. That way, you know exactly what you're expected to do. And you can make a decision of whether you want to take that job or you don't based on that job description. Second thing is ask about the compensation and the incentives. We are talking about money in the, on this channel and we don't shy away from the fact that we have bills to pay. We need money. So ask about the compensation structure and the incentive structure. And as a minimum for me, before I change a job now or ever, I need to be happy with the compensation that I'm getting there before I leave my current job why because if you go there and everything else you're not happy with at least be happy about one thing about the money and 
probably to provide with you some motivation to some extent of staying there so in terms of your goals your financial goals your career goals at this stage of your life how much do you feel you are supposed to be paid make sure that is the money that is on the offer later or oh, don't because you don't want to go to a place where you're not happy with what they're offering you in the first place so for example sometimes the money might not be like so like let's say you're going to the firm when you're going to the firm you might not worry as much about the money because you know what you're there for growth you're not there for the money but when you're leaving the firm to go somewhere else yes money is a big thing so you need to make sure that the money that they're giving you is something that you're happy with so that on day one you're not disgruntled already from day one because trust me that disgruntlement tends to manifest in a lot of other things and a lot of other ways a lot of other decisions that you don't want that disgruntlement to go into so be happy with the money that they give you on that compensation three you need to decide what are your tolerables and raise this in the interview so for example i care about people so because i care about people one of my interview questions is going to be when they say do you have anything to ask i'm going to ask them who is your um, least great person here and what do you do to take care of that person why because for me employees being uh, treated as humans being treated as if they are not just numbers and being compensated fairly is a huge thing for me so i would rather work with a team of people that are treated as human that have buy in into the organization because they will help me and them deliver on what the organization needs me to deliver on and if these people are disgruntled or if they're not taken care of or if they don't feel like they're part of the organization it's going to reflect badly on me and on the metrics that i used to to measure my performance so for me i am very much pro employees so i will make sure that in every interview that i make i always mention it and i ask what is the organizational culture or what is the view of those at the top of those that are at the bottom and that informs whether i can be able to last or make an impact in such an organization this is something that is good um so this is something that is big for me and for you you might have your own tolerables and your own intolerables and you want to always discuss about them might not come to them and say what do you do about this like in an aggressive way but in a very polite way you can always word your words kindly and you can ask about your tolerables and intolerables and usually if you learn to read between the lines uh, which is a skill that I've been learning. If you learn to read between the lines and to read between the things that are left unsaid or that can be implied from what is actually said, you can then get to learn more about the organization and how your intoler intolerables or your tolerables are dealt with. And this will help you in making the decision of whether you want to change the job for that job or you want to wait for another opportunity. Then the other thing is money is not everything. You need to talk to somebody for me. Um, of course, this doesn't apply. I don't think this applies if you're taking entry-level jobs. But if you're taking managerial jobs, I don't think money is everything. Even if you're given the money that you want, there are a lot of other things that come into play, like the work environment, the culture, the people. All those things make your work experience worthwhile. All those things make... Uh, will either make you look forward to going to work every day or they'll make you hate waking up every day because you have to go to work so for me I would suggest speak to the person who was in the role that you want to replace or at least speak to somebody who is part of the organization who can tell you of the way that they do things of the way that they handle conflict problems and everything in that organization because each organization is a way of doing things and you don't want to leave a job that you like over a job that has things that you don't like and then you realize it too late so you need to make sure that you ask about all the other things surrounding that job that are not just money talk to somebody who was in that role who is living that role talk to somebody who works at the company i've already said this then the fifth thing do not leave sour grapes 
your employer was nice to you they go offered you a job and you were loving that job for a long time before you found the new opportunity you don't know if to burn bridges you don't have to be unkind you don't have to be unnice i recommend you save your notice period well i recommend you communicate it well especially like with your supervisors with your hr team because like i don't think it's fair for your supervisor or your immediate supervisor to get it from someone else that you're leaving i get this whole secrecy around life but it's like your direct supervisor for me my direct supervisor and my immediate juniors need to get it from me that i'm leaving um you need to just handle issues around your living in a good way. Save your notice period. Let them know that you're living in a nice way. Make them know that you appreciate the opportunity that they offered you to save in their company. Uh, let your juniors and your, your immediate supervisors know that you appreciate the time that you've been with them, that you've worked with them. That way, you, always, you can keep those relationships that you've been building over the years or over the months. And that way, even if you want to come back, you can always come back because you didn't leave sour grapes. Which brings me to the other thing. Don't badmouth your previous employer with your current employer. I don't think it serves any purpose because you already got the job or, uh, anyway. Um, there is no, I don't think it serves any purpose to go around and bashing your former employer to your current employer. Uh, it might make you feel good to vent and whatever, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't see what it saves. So you don't need to go around badmouthing your former employer with your new employer. So. That's one thing that I've also had to learn. Um, yeah, so this, from my experience, these are the six things that I will tell you of you, of you changing jobs, um, of recommendations when you are changing jobs. Um, there's somebody at my door, so I had to, to cut this video short here and attend to that. But thank you so much for stopping by. You Please don't forget to subscribe and to like and comment. What are your tips for somebody who wants to leave their job? What are the things that you would tell them to look out for and to be uh really mindful about thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video which is going to be next week